Hello, I'm Dr. Rank Gibson, and today we're going to talk to you about what we call an accessory navicular. There are individuals that will come into my office, and they'll actually, they're actually being evaluated, and they have a bump on the inside of their foot. Sometimes they call it a second ankle, and it ha causes pain, and it rubs on shoes, and they usually come in because of significant discomfort when they're running or walking or those kind of activities. So let me kind of help you understand where that is. So the reason they call it a second ankle is you've got the medial malleolus. The bump there on the on the ankle. So as you're looking at the ankle, they've got this here. The navicular sits right in this area. So if we tilt it up like this, the navicular is right here. So you've got the tibia talus navicular, and the navicular sits right there. And what happens is they get a, a significant inflammation or bump right in this area, and it's usually because there's an extra bone that's sitting right there called an accessory navicular. Sometimes what will happen is you'll get that area and right in that where that bone is, it gets a second bone right by the navicular that's sitting either in this area or sometimes sitting right underneath here. And it can cause quite a bit of discomfort. It doesn't always hurt. Sometimes you'll have that prominence there and they have no pain. But in a lot of individuals, it becomes painful as the, it becomes more solid as bone. Uh, the problem with that is you also have a tendon that comes right through here, the posterior tibial tendon that attaches in that area. It attaches here and attaches underneath, but by attaching in that area, it can get interfered with by that bone. So it's coming around that ankle, the bone sits there, and so it attaches sometimes into that bone and to the navicular or sometimes just the navicular. In most cases, we're seeing that it really is mostly 80 or 90% attached to the navicular and the a lot of times nothing needs to be done for that. So what happens? What are the symptoms? An individual will have increased pain in the foot. They'll feel like their foot may be flattening out sometimes. They will feel like there's a spot that's rubbing in the shoes or they always hurt on the inside of their foot in shoes or with exercise or any activities and so forth. And they are wondering what's going on and they feel like it, the bump's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it usually is because it's getting inflamed or swollen. So evaluation, the best thing to do is to say, okay, the prominence is in the right spot by physical exam. And then you do an x-ray and you evaluate to see if there is an extra bone. In most cases there is, and you can actually see the bone pretty easily on x-ray. And then the options are really three, threefold. There's three options. Although really there's only one option that really fixes the problem. That's going in and taking that bone out and doing whatever is, needs to be done to repair the tendon. In most cases, not much has to be done. You can usually pull the tendon out of the way, take out the accessory navicular, allow it to heal by putting them in a boot for anywhere from four to six weeks, and they can get back to normal as quick as they are able. Typically in kids, I can get them out of the boot quicker because they just seem to heal quicker. And usually in somewhere between three and four weeks, they're back in normal shoes and normal activities. Um, so that is the best option. There are two other options that can be done. You can actually just treat it symptomatically. So you can say, okay, I'm going to treat it as a tendonitis because that's really what's going on. That extra bone is usually irritating the tendon. And if you treat the tendonitis, sometimes the pain will go away for a short period of time. If you're finding that it's rubbing a lot on the shoes, however, treating the tendonitis won't fix the problem. So you may need to do padding or something like that. The third option is really just do an orthotic where you're actually supporting that arch, supporting that foot changing the way it functions to take the pressure off that area. And sometimes that will postpone surgery until a later date. I do recommend though, if you're having quite a bit of pain there, I usually just jump right to surgery and say, let's fix this, solve the problem, get you back to normal activities as quick as possible. So accessory navicular hurt, usually hurts quite a bit, usually needs to be come out. In most cases, we're seeing it in children and youth age, Although I have had some individuals where that starts to hurt as an adult. Typically when it hurts as an adult, for a while they were attached with cartilage and it wasn't moving, wasn't having any issues until they did something. For example, I had one patient that she was jumping on a bed in Las Vegas. I didn't ask any more questions than that. She was jumping on a bed and hurt her foot. And from that point on, for the next several months, it was hurting in that area. And it was an accessory navicular that had never hurt her in the past. So what do you do? The idea is you need to go in and do surgery typically to remove that extra bone and allow you to get back to normal activities. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this was your podiatry tip, day 39, accessory navicular.